LeVar Ball. You've seen him in the news countless times over the past few weeks saying crazy shit like, back in my heyday, I would kill Michael Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. Or, to make me cry, you gotta hit me with a two-by-four. Or maybe, put Stephen Curry on UCLA's team right now and put Lonzo on the Golden State Warriors and see what happens. Some would even say, he done lost his fucking mind. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, look at that, that's a foul. Ah, that's a foul. Let's go. On top of charging $50 for regular t-shirts on his website and being on damn near every fucking news channel over the past couple weeks, LeVar Ball has been a hit. Some would even go as far to say he's a marketing genius. And so I figured I'd help him out. So I hopped on the Prime, got the Big Baller logo and plastered that everywhere around the Prime Arena, the Pro-Am jerseys trying to get the word out. I hit up my boy Zooted and asked him if he can help me create LeVar Ball in NBA 2K17. I figured, let's get a whole fucking team of LeVars. See, but it just can't be any player. Listen, man, LeVar Ball averaged 2.2 points per game in college. And so that means we definitely gotta run with 55 overall players. That's a squad of 55 overall LeVar Balls readying up. Because today, not only are we gonna try and win a game, but we're gonna help promote the brand. Let's do it. Now listen, it's gonna take a lot of skill to pull this off because 55 overall players are no joke. We find an opponent, we get home court, but during the process they dashboarded, we got stuck, apparently afraid of the big baller brand, they knew what it meant. So we ready it up again looking for another game and this time, the team didn't quit. Game one, let's do it. Of course. Optimistic. I mean, we got five LeVar Balls. What the fuck is there not to be optimistic about? Running some 55 overalls, man. Going up against a team that lost 22 times against Elite Zero competition. I put a tweet out. Luckily, we had a friend. Shout out to Ali Bumbaye, because he helped me out, man. He gave me the Elite Zero team to customize the court and do my thing. Look at that. Oh, my. Doesn't that look beautiful? All of us looking so clean. Inside, I'm going to find pretty boy Alex. Going to kick it to Vortex, who gets swatted, but that's Breeze with an easy put back. Check it out, man. We're going to be attacking the hoop like no other, man. We don't have much of a three game. My three pointer is at 34. I'm not going to be shooting as much as I usually do. And because we have zero shot contest, literally anything we do to try and contest means nothing. And they're going to be banging through all kinds of contests all game long. So bringing the ball up, Vortex, that's his sprint speed, by the way. Is trying to find his way around the opponent. Spins around, finds Agent for the three. Bang! <laughs> we sit there and we orchestrate, man. It's a timeout for a reason. We're planning, we're plotting. That's five of our balls, yes. Because we're only down five and so far we're still in the game. Vortex is going to do a nice step back. Pull up! Bang! That's what I'm talking about. It's five of our balls, man. This shit, if we, we cannot lose. We cannot let LeVar down. Two people on the closeout. But as per usual, we're getting out rebounding with these 55 overall players. See, now I understand why he only averaged 2.2 points per game. Giving up even more rebounds. Can't box out a living soul. But offensively, it's like we wanted to get him back for all the rebounds they got because we continue to break layups and continue to get rebounds. And this time... <laughs> We get the two points. Defensively, we're trying to put together the same effort. Lock down the paint because that's exactly where they're trying to head. And we put the fucking clamps down. We're determined to catch back up in this game. Vortex taking his dear time getting up the court for the easy two. It's almost as if they don't expect us to walk all the way into the paint, and that's all we're trying to do. So they're just making bad reads on their end. Trying to score offensively with easy buckets. We're not trying to do all this half-court set. We can't. We don't have a shot. We can't spread the floor. The screens don't do a damn thing, and they're beating us everywhere defensively. We finally get a rebound. We're out on the break. That's Breeze tossing it up to Vortex for an easy two. We're only down 15. Inside to pretty boy Alice, gonna catch Zooted on the cut. Easy layup. That's the offense we're trying to get. We're playing man on man defensively. Trying to lay down the fucking clamps. That's Vortex right there playing the ISO game with his 55 overall. Beats his man. Pulls up. Makes the shot. With a 55 overall player. Unfortunately, we get turnover. We had way too many this game. 
They're gonna toss it up, a swap, but eventually I think we started to realize that that we just didn't stand a fucking chance. It, it, like, not even close. Like, these LeVar Ball creatures, you pass the ball, he starts fumbling with it and runs out of bounds. The most inaccurate passes you'll catch in your fucking life. We had about 15 turnovers this game and 8 from Vortex alone. That is not a fucking exaggeration. It was uh, abysmal. Just dribbling up the court was an issue because they were trapping and we didn't have an answer to that. How do you get an answer to trapping? You try and pass the ball up, it's a turnover. If you hold on to it, you're definitely going to fumble with the ball and turn it over. And so they just, they had no mercy. They saw we were 55 overalls and they said, listen, we can't get wins anywhere else. So let's just beat down on these fucking LeVar balls real quick because it's going to make us feel good about ourselves inside. And so we just sat there and took a fucking beating in the second half, man. We kept it close for a little bit. I mean, we put up 44 points with a, a team full of buckets. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Didn't mean to insult you there, LeVar Paul. But these players are fucking trash. You know, you can see why he averaged 2.2 .2 points per game. We beat the averages for the most part. We all averaged more than that shit, okay? The team did aight. We shot okay, but the turnovers... Uh, it didn't keep it close. So game two, we're gonna try and clean it up. Maybe run a little bit of zone and hopefully get a W. So LeVar Ball, man, what do you think? Maybe you can send me a couple of those t-shirts. Uh, listen, man, I don't know who the fuck you think can afford a $50 t-shirt. That is ridiculous. No one's paying for that. Maybe if you, if you live in Chino Hills, you got a giant house, you know, you can make space in your budget. <laughs> listen, man, we're going up against a team that got 70 losses. Uh, you play 200 prime games, you're only elite ones, it means you're garbage. That means we stand a chance. That on top of the fact that we're all dressed up like LeVar Ball himself, I think we stand a pretty good chance. We got a new assortment of archetypes with us here today. We got a couple smalls because the smalls get a little tiny boost to their default speed, and I know God knows we need speed. Inside, that's Breeze breaking an open layup, gonna find a put back, easy standing dunk. It's not easy out here. Vortex gonna find Breeze. That's a drop step. Come on, you're too small. They're going in for doubles on 55 overall players. What does that tell you? Breeze with the muscle. Another drop step inside over two people. It has a pace to have a post score in your arsenal, people. Those post score moves are almost always money. We're playing a zone defensively. Nobody picked up the top, so I had to run out even though I had the bottom corner. That's pretty boy Alex with the easy layup break. This is the shit we gotta go through with LeVar Ball. This is why he only averages 2.2 .2 points per game. Because he'll be in there and he'll brick the shots he should make. Pretty boy Alex is gonna kick it to Vortex. Vortex for the easy mid range is gonna find another brick. So we sit here and we contemplate in the timeout, try and find strategies, something that can work. We're playing a 4-1 zone. Inside, pretty boy with the easy dunk. Offensively, they're gonna leave me wide open. That's Ager. Bang! A 34 open shot, three still pulling from distance. With an and one, we're catching up. Only down 12. I'm gonna drive into the paint. I'm looking to get some drop step room, but everybody collapses for some odd reason. I find myself in the free throw line. I missed the first, and because I didn't know what my free throw actually was with this player, I ended up making the second. You saw in the bottom left, one of their players quit. That's Zuda bringing the ball up. Sees me in the corner, contested, bang! We're only down 10. Somehow scoring offensively with a little bit of ease, do I dare say. An eight point game. Zuda's gonna kick it into Vortex for the layup. Make it six. Defensively, we clamp down. We're here again on the other end. Breeze with the fucking hook. They got a little man on Breeze. They need to switch and do something about that because he's going to town. That's him again with the drop step. Inside with the end one. And the free throw. Breeze is putting on a show. He's putting it all on the floor tonight with another drop step. Down one. Yo. Here's their psychic, by the way. Here. Oh, no, and now you. Yo! <laughs> bro, don't worry Yo. about it, bro. I got this. We got the first lead of the game. And unfortunately, our first lead of the game was our only lead of the game. Even though we kept it close, once we hit 41, it all fell apart. They figured out our defense right here in this play. They realized they can beat our zone if they just stepped in and took a midi. And because they have a shot creator, it made life incredibly difficult. 
And so a team that we were clamping down with the zone. A series of 55 overall LeVar balls. Run out on the break. Getting threes to drop. Inside with the mean drop steps. It turned around real quick. And they went on a phenomenal run. And we just went to bricking everything. And so in the matter of one quarter, we went from making LeVar proud to probably being the equivalent to a disappointing son. We lost the game. We got demolished. We said, nah, we need to run it back. Final game, game three, with these 55 overall LeVar balls, man. We can't let it go just yet. And so let's go. Game three. Much to our delight, they're playing in our home arena. You better guess the name. And you might have spotted Michael Jordan. Team name is the Hera Jordans. Listen, man, they played over 100 games in their Elite Zero, which means they're garbage. A team that's garbage is a team we stand a chance against. Listen, they're not come ups, though, so it's going to be difficult. We got five LeVar balls in this bitch, and we got a decent amount of practice. All oh, right, defense. A 4 1 defense that's pretty effective. But still, nonetheless, it's going to be a big challenge. So as we step up, get ready to play this game, man, there's Jordan on the other end. With his accomplices. I believe he's a stretch big. Goes by the name of the Tweezy 2K11. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a 2K YouTuber I don't know about. But I said if this can be our last game. We're going to make sure we get the W. The Hair Jordans. If you're going to walk up to the big baller brand. You're going to make sure you play your A game right. Through the contest. Because we don't have no defensive attributes. They still made that shot. Zuda's going to catch me on the cut with the easy standing dunk. That's a 6'10 lockdown defender. You better guard up. A bad pass, a fumbled catch, leads to a couple of easy points. LeVar Ball doing LeVar Ball type things. This time a catch that should have been made. And it bit turns out to be a turnover. Inside, that's Jordan with the easy left-handed layup. We're off to an abysmal start. Vortex missing. Our whole team really missing left and right. Letting them walk right into our paint. Playing transition defense is literally impossible because we have nil speed. That's the default. And especially as a big man, you start off with even less. And so just trying to get close to the rim, let alone make a three-pointer or just bang a mid-range is so much more difficult than it looks. Jordan, of course, he's having a blast taking full advantage right inside for the slam over LeVar Ball. They're going to kick it in one more time. That's Jordan. He's going to hit it with a hook over two people. He's going to roll around and find itself in the rim. Listen, man. Jordan's having a blast right now, man. He's definitely taking it to heart what the fuck LeVar Ball has been saying about him. And so when he saw the whole team, the whole squad pull up on him, he said, yo, hold up. Just give me the ball. I'm going to light it up. And he continuously found himself at the free throw line. This time his Vortex is about to take a spin move feed like Kobe. Bang! Let me see like Jordan. Inside. That's the hair of Jordan's kicking it back to... Oh, that's the air Jordan himself. Bang for three. Vortex see me for the mini and brick. It's been the story all game long. Shooting, if you can see at the top right, 17% from the floor. They are trying to get me to shoot. And every time I pull up, the result is not one that I'm happy with. Eventually, they were able to close out. It wasn't even a competition. We only scored 35 all game long. This is probably the biggest blow we had of all the games we played. And of course, it went up against a team, none other than the Hair Jordans themselves. So they get another W, man. If you guys enjoyed the video and you haven't left a like, make sure to leave one. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're dropping 2K17 Heat daily. If you guys missed the videos on the screen, be sure to click him. I'm going to catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.